curvy body and that she always like try to make her body look good for others to see. This man has been dating this woman online for over 10 years. I was honestly loyal to my wife. I did not want to cheat on her and like say that I'm talking to this other woman. I said I was talking to women as I mentioned to my Filipino wife. Okej, okay, widzę, że są na trzecie osoby, które nie wiedzą, co oglądamy. Jest to y, kanał na YouTube, który nazywa się Catfish i polega na tym, że mogą się do nich zgłosić osoby, które nie są pewne, czy rozmawiają z prawdziwą osobą w internecie, czy też z, z kamerem. I zawsze jest to skamer, jak się okazuje i tak naprawdę cała robota prowadzących program Catfish polega na tym, żeby przekonać osobę, która do nich przyszła, że nie rozmawiają z prawdziwą osobą. No więc nasz dzisiejszy bohater, jak się dowiadujemy, od 10 lat y, pisze z jakąś skamerką, mając żonę. O, z tego co widzę, właśnie żona mu pisze, just be careful honey, make sure it is in the scam. Czyli ona wie? But this was a business thing. Maybe he doesn't think like talking to some chick online is cheating. But the two Może. have never met face to face. Six times he's phone here. She either said I'm not at home now. She had an excuse for him to not come there. I messaged Vera and said I'm at the airport. Um, where are you at? She says, Oh, I'm not there, babe. I said, Where are you? She said, I'm in Memphis. What are you doing in Memphis? We were supposed to meet on this date. Do we not plan for it? This person's gonna put you in jail, like 100%. You will go to prison if you keep talking to this person. Mm -hmm. And I even told the person, I said, this needs to stop. Because I got police involved now. A no tak, jak powiedziałeś z kamerowi, że ma przestać, to wystarczy jakby. Po co masz sam przestawać? Real quick, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. W spadku zostawię spadkobiercom numer do faceta ze Stanów, którego skamuje. Good one, Paganka Jezer. Let's get into it. Hello, my name is Mike. Um, I'm 45 years old. I am a school teacher by daytime and a hospital transporter by the weekend. So I've been in education for around 13, 14 years. Most of my field has been in special education. Well, my first uh, wife that I got married to, we got married in the Philippines. I have a Okay. Uh, na co oni chcą go skamować, że muszą go urabiać przez 10 lat? Podejrzewam, że oni są już poza urabianiem. On pewnie regularnie wysyła im kasę. Daughter in the Philippines. We try to have a, a really tight relationship. She's 13 years old. I don't only get to see her once a month when the school's out and we get our summers off. I get to travel and see her either in mid June or July. We communicate with each other, maybe just through small messaging. You know how how are you doing, Papa? You know. Czekaj, to jego córka i żona są w Filipin. Są na Filipinach? Nie mieszkają razem? My daughter just simply doesn't have the heart to want to be over here. Um, it's like her heart belongs there. And she understands. I mean, she understands that why aren't you with your papa? And you get that question a lot. But she feels it every day when she goes to school because they see their papa's dropping her off at school, but her papa's not. It's more like just something that, that the Lord has just, uh, you know, placed in and me to be patient through and for her to be patient as well. While Mike's family was in the Philippines, he started an online connection with a mysterious woman named Vera. We met actually just from Google chat. She's like, hi Mike, how are you doing? My name is Vera and I'm from, you know, California, she said. We were communicating back and forth, you know, just starting out as friends for, for a while. And I believe she is 38 years old. What? I would say she's around maybe 5'2", 5'3". 38. Girl, be so fucking for real. Curly hair. Um, could be red sometimes, depending on if she colored her hair. To nie jest ta sama osoba. Co jest? She has a curvy body. And that she always like try to make her body look good for others to see. You know, young, and she's got the California face and like hairstyle, and and she might be. To you know, have a sweet, sama sama. Sexy smile. She says, "I have this business I'd like to talk to you about." And she mentioned all oh, this business that run through a shipping type company. 
but I kept I tried to keep more things on like not so much the personal side, but more like the business side. Vera claimed she was a wealthy businesswoman. Mike was looking to make some extra money to get his family back to the United States. He was interested, so he began to work for Vera's shipping company. The boxes come to my house. They have the, the... Men widzą buba i całkowicie ignorują dwie różne twarze. Dosłownie, ale to działa w dwie strony. Tak samo w sensie e, jak było w Love is Blind ta laska, która powiedziała, że jest podobna do Megan Fox i faceci się oburzyli tylko mm. dlatego, że miała zupełnie inne ciało niż Megan Fox ignorując fakt, że była bardzo z twarzy podobna do Megan Fox Shipping labels on them They were probably about around 35 to 50 pounds and then all I had to do was like print off the UPS label they ship I just re-put the label on send it outside, UPS will come pick it up a to nie są jakieś zdjęcia ilustracyjne ze stoka? Nie, nie, to akurat są zdjęcia, które ona mu wysyłała w przeciągu tych 10 lat. They were coming from just random people, like someone in Philadelphia, or someone in Chicago, or someone in Florida. So I've never looked inside the boxes as per her instruction. I would say around maybe 20 to 50 boxes. My wife does uh, find out that I chatted with her because I told her about her. She's just saying, Um, just make sure it's not a scam, make sure, you know, they don't ask for money up front kind of thing. And, you know, I'm not trying to be get involved with Vera because I'm loyal to my Filipino wife. Mike moved these boxes for a year and a half. The boxes would show up to his home and he would ship them to random people around the world. No i macie odpowiedź. Było pytanie, na co oni go tak urabiają? Nie urabiają, ona aktywnie pracuje dla nich, będąc tak zwanym miulem i nawet nie wiedząc, że dzięki niemu jacyś ludzie piorą sobie pieniądze albo sobie sam nie wie, co, co wysyła. Równie dobrze może wysyłać, nie wiem, bomby ludziom. He knew Vera had a thing for him, but he claimed he reminded her that he was in a relationship and this was strictly business. Instead of calling me Mike, she started calling me babe. It's like, hi babe. O, zaczęła na niego mówić Mike, to chyba musi znaczyć, że go kocha. How you doing? words that my wife from the Philippines was using and then started using words like how are you my husband and I'm like husband and I'm just like hang on slow down Aww. don't you know um, gościu ma jakieś granice jednak jakby <laughs> jestem mężem tylko jednej laski mogę dla ciebie od 10 lat pakować paczki dla dealerów ale hola hola baby that I'm still married to my Filipino wife And, but I was honestly loyal to my wife. I did not want to cheat on her and like say that I'm talking to this other woman. I said I was talking to women as I mentioned to my Filipino wife that, but this was a business thing. And she's like, oh, come on, let's, you know, she's not gonna know kind of thing. I said, no, Filipino women, they don't believe in the power of divorce, I guess through religion. After speaking to Vera for two years, Mike found out that his wife had cancer while her and his daughter were in the Philippines. I was talking to Vera while my wife was going through the different stage, the difficult stages of cancer. Macie rację, że on cały czas mówi na nią moja Filipino wife. A totalnie daje mi vibe gościa, który pojechał na Filipiny tylko po to, żeby znaleźć sobie żonę. Wiecie, że jest to dziwny typ gościa. Ale wciąż myślę, że Mimo wszystko, że z dziwnym typem ma do niej e, uczucia i teraz zaczyna się heartbreaking part. I knew that my wife's timeline could go any moment now. Did I want to move on from her? A part of me probably honestly thought... Okej, okay, to jest więcej niż heartbreaking. On dosłownie zaczyna od razu mówić o tym, że się teraz zastanawia, dobra, co dalej, to przechodzę na następną, czy, czy co, czy jak to robimy? Oh my god. Thought, yes. I did not want to just go up in front and just tell my wife during the time that she's being treated, you know, going through her chemotherapy and things like that, just to be out front and honest with her. I just kind of just don't, just didn't even want to bring it up because I knew emotionally it would bring her down because she, she's already fighting the battle to stay alive. And my wife did give me the, the go ahead to find an, a new wife. You need to find a new wife. And at the time I just said, no, I can't think about that. Oh, ona mu tak napisała. Nie, nie, Filipino wife, please. 
That right now. I still have you. You're on this earth. You're alive. You're talking to me. And I said, you know, how can you think like that? Moja jedyna nadzieja jest taka, że okej, okay, są małżeństwem, ale nie mieszkają razem. Z tego, co tu piszecie, rozwody w Filipinach są w zasadzie nielegalne. Może ona chce po prostu jakby się wyplątać z tego, więc mu powiedziała, że Maraka i jakby go on, go on, jakby a zapomnij o mnie, żyj swoim życiem, chcę, żebyś był szczęśliwy. To jest moja jedyna nadzieja w tym momencie, jakby pozwólcie mi w to wierzyć. That's just telling me that you want to be, to let go and you want me to just, you know, not think about you at this time right now. And I just didn't want to even talk about ale tak, tak jak Slavik Bosom na czacie przywołuję, przepraszam, że tak często pauzuję, ale mam dużo do powiedzenia. Są bardzo załamujące statystyki na temat tego, ile mężów porzuca żony w momencie, kiedy dowiadują się o ich śmiertelnej chorobie albo o chorobie, która jakby mocno wyklucza je z życia. Jest... są to bardzo, bardzo przygnębiające statystyki. Faking cancer, so my weirdo husband leaves me the hell alone. Talking with your wife who is in stage four of cancer, and she says, you know, this is this is. A w drugą stronę, Peteroch. W drugą stronę dużo, 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 dużo mniej. Kobiety dużo rzadziej opuszczają swoich śmiertelnie chorych mężów. Prawdopodobnie wynika to z tego, że w społeczeństwie mamy często model związku oparty na pielęgnacyjnej roli kobiety. Pielęgnacyjnej wobec dzieci, pielęgnacyjnej wobec rodziców oraz w jakiś sposób pielęgnacyjnej wobec męża. Kiedy przestają pełnić te funkcje, właściwie kiedy przestają pełnić dwie funkcje, na których głównie zależy mężczyznom w patriarchacie, czyli opiekuńczą i seksualną, a będąc śmiertelnie chorą ciężko pełnić którąkolwiek z nich, no to cóż, mężczyźni nie dają rady w takiej sytuacji, a kobiety są przyzwyczajone do, do posługi. Grey Knight Captain, bardzo dziękuję za suba. Time, honey. This is my time is, you know, I want to go. Know that I love you, but know that I give you the, I want you to find, you know, like I said, a new wife. And I'm just like sitting there, just like my heart stopped. You know, I'm just like loss of words, don't really know what to say. Other than saying I'm sorry, but you're in stage four cancer. I don't know what it's like going through stages of cancer. Patients at the hospital work tell me about it, and they tell me never to get it. As Mike's wife was battling cancer, he was still in the United States. Things really went downhill for him when he received a call late at night. Roch pisze i jebać patriarchat. Ja jak zacznę się rozpadać, to puszczę moją Filipino wife wolno. O mój Boże, bohater, jakiego potrzebujemy, ale na jakiego nie zasługujemy. From his wife's family in the Philippines. So on the night of August 30th, I was sleeping here, and the phone was ringing. Phone was ringing. I finally woke up to like 10 missed calls, and I called them back, and they showed me the video. Like said, she's gone. You hear the the cries. You hear the weeps. You hear all these um, emotions going on, and me, I'm just like waking up and just hearing this news and I told him just give me a minute and then I hung up the call and then I'm just like sitting there put my phone beside me and I say why I'm thinking in my mind my wife is gone and it's this very it's very hard it's very difficult shit coraz dziwniej to wygląda myślę że ona naprawdę umarła Że były jakieś płacze w tle, ktoś do niego zadzwonił, kurde. Nie wiem, czy być bardzo smutna, czy bardzo zdezorientowana. A, no i mamy statystyki. A kiedy to kobieta jest pacjentką, what, 20% mężów zostawia takie kobiety. 20%? Co? 20? 20%? Wiecie, ile kobiet zostawia mężów w takiej sytuacji? 2,9. Oh my god. Good time of my life. 
as I continue to talk with Vera, I'm going through the stages of grieving. I'm telling my wife is, you know, passed. I didn't really want to be, ex you know, talking to a lot of people. Vera is saying that, honey, it will be okay. She's in a better place. Please understand that I know what it feels like to lose someone. I lost my mom. I'll always be here for you. If you need to talk to someone, I could listen. Just reach out to me. Um, Vera told me that she loves me. So I, I just basically wanted to push her to understand that this is a time that I need to be, you know, between me and God and my support group and nobody else and my family and international family. I said, that's, that's all I, I need to talk about right now. Aside from going to work and treating like it's a normal life. Vera was always there for Mike as he went through the grieving stages of his wife's passing. The two chatted every day and night. The two grew closer and closer, but... Okay, jeżeli, jakby niezależnie od tego, czy chcemy wierzyć, że ona sfingowała swoją śmierć, to on przechodzi jakąś formę żałoby teraz i jakby jest bardzo vulnerable na skamerów, więc ty bardziej strasznie chujowe to, co skamerzy teraz robią. A co z córką? Podejrzewam, że pewnie została z babcią i resztą krewnych na Filipinach. Ma tam szkołę, życie i wszystko. Ja i nie chciała porzucać tego wszystkiego do życia z właściwie obcym jej człowiekiem w Stanach. Chociaż jeśli faktycznie widywali się co miesiąc, to jest całkiem dużo, biorąc pod uwagę to, jaka odległość ich dzieli i chyba dość dużo musiało wydawać na samoloty. Jakby that's, that's jakby good, good relationship, I guess. Turn when she claimed she was locked out of her accounts. That she wanted me to help out with some money for groceries. She said it was for groceries for her, her and her daughter for food. And like, sure, send thirty-five dollars. Yeah, she always said that you know something's going on with my accounts. Like, oh, the contractors didn't pay me, or the employees keeping my paycheck. Excuse after excuse. Maybe like the next month, she asked for like fifty dollars. Bruchu ser pięć osiem sześć cztery pięć dziękuję za słowo. Like, you know, basically food, food maybe gas. Up until this point, Mike claimed he sent close to $5,000 to Vera through gift cards and this PayPal account. Her request for money never seemed to stop. I would say that I'd probably be bought over well under over a hundred uh, different amounts of gift cards for her. Yeah, these are these are digital digital email um, receiving funds that way gift cards um, through Amazon. Mike was not only sending this money to help Vera, he was also sending it in hopes of meeting her face to face. She's invited Mike to her house in California several times, but she always had an excuse for why the two couldn't meet. Uh, flown to California multiple times, probably like five or six times. It was 4th of July weekend, flew out the weekend before the 4th. I messaged Vera and said, I'm at the airport, um, where are you at? She says, oh, I'm not there, babe. I said, where are you? She said, I'm in Memphis. I'm like, what are you doing in Memphis? We were supposed to meet on this date. Did we not plan for it? And she says, I'm sorry, babe. I can't, I can't come there now. I'm... O Boże, desperacja, której wymaga sytuacja, w której dosłownie lecisz przez kilka godzin samolotem na lotnisko do kogoś, z kim jesteś umówiony i ten ktoś randomowo, o kurczę, jestem akurat w innym mieście. Oh my God. Nawet ja w swoich najgorszych momentach desperacji nie byłam nigdy tak down bad, żeby wybaczyć coś takiego. Meet with some client tail or something over there. But again, this turned out to be another one of those meetups that I, that it was it, that I got stood up again. Right now, given that I've been stood up twice, you know, from flying there, driving there, I kind of wonder if like is it a meant to be kind of thing i've sent her thousands of dollars of my hard-earned income the money didn't come from my 401k the money didn't come from savings the money came from me working at my jobs it, it was my paychecks i sent to her so i'm just kind of like i'm up in the air about it right now is this legit it's for real am i wasting my time so i would like you guys to help me See if this person is real, legit. Is she? I mean, I mean, obviously, I'm sending money to to somebody that 
could be real, could be a, a scr- scammer. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I'm just at a loss. There was something about Mike's story that just didn't add up. This Seekers is where it all began. Movie David and I are on our way to meet Mike at LAX. Vera invited Mike over to her house for the seventh time. And our team was going to stop him Poras at the airport. Me? We had all of the Poras answers to every me, question guys. Mike had. How is he wanting help from us? I guess that's what I'm curious about. Like he wants to know if this person's real? Yes. Is he like low key wanting to clear his name from any of this? It sounds like he's like covering up certain things just in case she's like fake, but he's deeply believes that she's real. Something about Mike's story was just off. We had so many questions and there were things that just didn't add up. A special ed teacher, to be honest, is like, uh, in my eyes, is like a police officer or firefighter, right? Yeah. Like that's a like very noble thing. You have to have a lot of patience, a lot of love. Like I've known like a handful of special ed teachers. Uh, okay, you have to have a lot of patience, a lot of love, żeby być policjantem według niego. No, I don't think so. Realistically, they're some of the nicest people and most caring, empathetic people that I've ever known. Seriously, like I really. Nie, porównywanie um, nauczycielki, nauczania jakby jakiegoś specjalnego z tego co rozumiem, to policjantów uwłaczające special ed, więc chyba nauczanie nie wiem jak to będzie po polsku. So I want to make it clear, like we're helping out the widow special ed teacher, not Mike, because I think there's uh, some of it doesn't sit right with me. It's just not like there are a lot of lies here. We always get to the bottom of stuff, but there are a lot of things that don't add up. Mike was obviously covering up something. Some of the statements that he made in his video interview just weren't making sense. Uh-huh. Starting with how Oh yes, okaże się, że ich okłamał na temat tego, że jego żona umarła, co? He met Vera. We met actually just from Google chat. She's like, "Hi Mike. How are you doing? My name is Vera and I'm from California." She said, "Did he get a random message or was he dating online already in the middle of his marriage?" Yeah, so all the bullshit about like being faithful is not true. Instead of calling me Mike, she started calling me babe. It's like, hi babe, how you doing? The words that my wife from the Philippines was using. And I'm just like, hang on, slow down. Don't you know um, that I'm still married to my Filipino wife? Maybe he doesn't think like talking to some chick online is cheating. Like it's a form of, like it's not physical cheating, but it's a form of cheating, right? What, what would have happened his wife would have survived cancer. I was talking to Vera while my wife was going through the different stage, the difficult stages of cancer. I knew that my wife's timeline could go any moment now. Your wife is in the hospital. The last thing she tells you is, go find a new wife. Im się nie skleja dokładnie to, co nam się nie kleiło. That's weird. I think there's so many weird things. Think about how evil you have to be as a scammer to be taking money from somebody, their spouse passes away. Mm, they are quite evil support. though. That's like as scummy as it gets. So she was sending him like large boxes to his house. The boxes come to my house. They have the, the shipping labels on them. So I've never looked inside the boxes as per her instruction. I would say around maybe 20 to 50 boxes. He said he never looked in them, but he was sending them off to wherever she said to send them off to. 35 to 50 pounds, those are not small boxes. They're at your house. Why wouldn't you just look in them really quick? You're printing off labels. I think he knows what was in those boxes. So like if mm. his wife's saying don't get scammed. The plot thickens. And he's saying it's a business transaction. He didn't get paid after a year. Never why, got, never why got Why would you like keep doing it? Yeah. This was the house that Vera claimed to live at. Mike has flown and driven from his house in Texas, but he never managed to meet up with Vera or knock on the door at the house. I thought it was twice. So he's flown out here six times. Six times he's flown here? She either said, I'm not at home now. She had an excuse for him to not come there. So we already went to the house. Yeah, Bri and I. Okay. And Uh he knocked on the door. Stick around until the end. We'll break down everything we found out about Vera and where she claims to live. 
and Mike will open. Also, wpadli na grubszą intrygę tym razem. Nice. Open up to us about his personal life and relationship with his daughter. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. We appreciate you so much. 20 minutes later, we arrived at LAX. Jak się przestraszył tym? Oh my god. Mike, what's up, man? It's okay. Yeah. Cool. Hey. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. A little trip over here, huh? Yes, quite a bit, yeah. Thank you for coming and meeting with us. Yeah, so thank you for inviting me. Yeah. As soon as Mike got in the car, he opened up to us about what was going on in his mind when he was on the plane and his personal life. So, I mean, you met your wife on a dating app. When you compare your relationship with Vera now, do you still get the same feeling when you're speaking to your wife online? No, with, with Vera, she's very, she's very needy. My wife didn't demand money. My wife didn't say, Like, I need five hundred dollars. I need a thousand dollars, you know, and then threatened to expose my personal information, kind of thing, because I didn't have money to send. She's threatening to expose your personal information yeah. if you don't send her money. Yeah. Are you in love with Vera? No. No. I have no feelings for this person. Why? Like, if you don't love her or care about her, why would you do that? And it's because, like. I wanted, I wanted, I was, I guess I was just seeking the truth. What are some positives about Vera? The positives She's hot. That, you know, that I would say for her is that, in a sense, she does realize that she probably is doing something wrong. She's not understanding when she tries to be understanding. It's like she just second guesses herself. Mm -hmm. But you drove or got a ride out there. So yeah. like, you're there, why not just knock on doors and stuff? It's just, that's, that's part of me, it's like, I, I, I just, you know, right, maybe made me fear set in. What was, like, what was like the best outcome for you? For me, for me in person, I would hope that you, like, I would finally get to meet you. Because... Czekaj, to on dostarczył te paczki tam, gdzie ta Vera ma mieszkać? I nigdy się z nią nie widział? Czy co? Because, you know, I came back... And why was that important to you? That's important to me because. Pupek. No, fuck, co robisz? The Vera person hasn't bothered me at all, and she used to do that when I'd block her off, tell her. Krupek złaś! Uh, completely different personality, right? Yes. From, absolutely. This is like a super nice human being uh -huh. versus like the messages yeah. that you're getting from her. Is yeah. disgusting. She's very. Because of cancer. I knew them. How are you doing? My name is. Ciebie you're sure. set in. I what was like what was like the best outcome? Oh, for, for me, for me in person, I would hope that you like I would finally get to meet you. Because, you know, I came back And why was that important to you? That's important to me because otherwise who am I sending money to? Leży teraz naprzeciwko mnie chrupek się patrzy na mnie, jakbym to ja coś odjebała. I'm we're talking like thousands of dollars. So let's go inside. Uh-huh. We have all the answers for you. Uh-huh. Um like We want to give you closure today. So let's yes. go inside. We have a ton of stuff to show you, like mm -hmm. a ton of stuff. Okay. Um, and then we'll wrap things up. Like, I think you'll feel pretty good after today. That's what I want. All right, we got you. Yes, thank you All so right. much. Let's do it. It was time to reveal what we found out about Vera. So we sat down with Mike. As we were getting ready to give him the truth, he opened up to us. I was like blown away by this and the fake checks. Like, I would be freaking out if I were you. Seriously, like absolutely freaking out. Oh, believe me, like the time, that, that time I was living in Dallas. So the Plano Police Department knows me very well. Oh, why? Uh, oh, because I would report the stuff. So you'd get the packages and report it? I actually got a package. It was from, I think it was from FedEx, if I remember right. And it was full of fake um, uh, international money. I forget what currency. So you did look in the boxes? That one. Okay, oh, on zajrzał do tych pudełek i tam było pełno fałszywej kasy. Zero podejrzeń at all. And I did. You told me that you never looked in the boxes. My story is I did not look through the boxes because they told me not to. But you were moving the boxes. On poszedł do programu na YouTubie. On wie co robi. 
Albo jest koszmarnie głupi. That's why you're with your wife? No. You told me you were though. It's hard to honestly think about that because that's back in 2015, 14 yeah. time era and uh, my memory just fades. Wait, so you guys been talking for ah, 14, 8 years or 10 years? Um, yes. I thought they were just talking for two years. Or... This is not consistent though yeah. with what you told me. Right. Why? Why? Maybe I get my my stories mixed up and what comes out just maybe just self expression comes out the wrong way and just what I have to think about because when it comes to like thinking about what happened in the past it's really hard and my story is probably going to be inconsistent because my memory is not as good just like that seekers Mike's story went from talking to Vera for two years to 10 years and he was aware of what was inside of these boxes that he was receiving large amounts of counterfeit money but this opened up even more questions Yeah. They wanted you to forward that to somebody else? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take a percentage cut and then forward it to someone else. O, o, to oni mu po pozwalali wziąć trochę fałszywej kasy z pudełka. Is he stupid? Why are you talking to him still? Yeah. This person's gonna put you in jail. Like 100%. You will go to prison if you keep talking to this person. Mm -hmm. And I even told the person, I said, this needs to stop. Because I got police involved now, and like I said, the dark web, my information's out there, exposed, and they so, somehow just track it, track, keep bothering me. What are you not telling us, though, Mike? Yeah. Like the stories are un inconsistent. Uh -huh. You told me you didn't look in the boxes. Then you tell me you're in love with her. Then you tell me you're not in love with her. Then you tell me that you're talking to her while you're with your wife. Then you're telling me that you're not talking to her. What are you not telling us? We can't help you if you don't tell us everything. I mean. I've gone through a lot. I mean, everybody has. We're gonna get you some help, but we're gonna we're gonna help release you of her today. Dobra, ale nic wam nie powiedział w końcu. I promise that. Yes. But you just have to trust us and, and know that we have your best interests in mind. Absolutely. And tell us the whole story. Yes. And I'm telling you what I what I can what I can know. What, you know, memory gets clouded really fast sometimes. We did do a lot of research, man. Memory gets clouded. We didn't want to let you go to San Bernardino. Mm -hmm. You know. This is something. That like we had talked earlier, like you yeah. didn't necessarily have the courage to do. Like you were there by the house, mm -hmm. and just never had the courage to like go and knock. Sorry, nie mogę się skupić, bo przyszedł wiewiór i teraz siedzą dwa obok mnie koty i i się liżą. W sensie poszli w takiego frencha właśnie. Chłopaki, wiecie, że jesteście braćmi, to dość obrzydliwe. On some doors. Yeah. Uh, Drew and Bree did. Like I was actually surprised. I didn't even know this happened. But Drew's like, look. Me and Bree were already kind of there for another case. Mm -hmm. We decided to stop by, yeah. and Drew wants to show you something. Yeah, man. <laughs> This is the house in San Bernardino. Mm-hmm. It's a god parked in the front right here. What's her name, Vera? They, uh, they are not brothers, they are boyfriends. Uh, nie, oni są actually brothers. Jakby Stachu i Krowa to byli boyfriends. Oni byli niespokrewnieni, ale byli chłopakami. Wiewiór i chrupek? Z tego samego miotu, jak coś. Bardzo podobnie do siebie. Vera. Vera Oliver. I'm gonna pull up her picture too. Hey, how's it going, bro? Hey, do you, do you live at this house right here? Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I, I just thought you, because you parked right here. Hi, how's it going? Is Vera home? No, nobody's switched here by now. So what she said? It was hard to make out, but... She says nobody here is here by then. You ask her, is Vera home? She says, I don't know who Vera is. Yeah. We actually have a YouTube channel, and we help people find out the truth behind their online lover. One of our... Tylko Wiewiór wygrał z bratem w loterię genetyczną pochatości. Owszem, historia ich jest generalnie taka, że leżymy sobie kiedyś w łóżku i Tomek mi mówi o kurde, patrz, jakim cudem i pokazuje mi tweeta na Twitterze o kocie, o małym kotku imieniu Chrupek, o którym ktoś napisał, że kurczę, przyjechali ludzie go adoptować, ale stwierdzili, że jest jednak za mało rudy i za brzydki i chcemy innego. 
i go nie wzięli. I powiedział, jak ktoś mógł nie chcieć takiego chrupka. I wsiedliśmy w samochód, pojechaliśmy po chrupka. Ale pojechaliśmy po chrupka i nagle na kolana wlazł mi wiewiór. I był takim pięknym skurczysynem. Najpiękniejszym skurczysynem. Więc stwierdziłam, słuchaj, wlaz na mnie. Powiedziałam, ej, możemy mieć wiewióra? Bo się patrzy. I ponieważ Tomek był już jakby kompletnie uległy w tym momencie, bo mój ukochany kot właśnie umierał na raka, więc zgodziłby się na wszystko. Więc wróciliśmy do domu z dwoma kotami. I ostatecznie bilans był cztery koty i pies w naszym wynajmowanym mieszkaniu. A guest, that reached out to us, told us that a woman that he was dating told him that she was living here. No, have you ever That's... seen this woman? No? Okay. My aunts lived here before. Okay. They've passed away. And my parents passed away. This is my Okay. Um, so I keep it here until she tells me. Okay. Got you. Okay. Has anybody ever come here and asked for Vera ever? No. No? no. Okay. Got you. How does that make you feel, like, after talking to this person for the last few years, and then now, like... Well, I know she's moved around. Like, every time, like, every other year, she's given me a different address. Like... She... Why do you think that's the case? I think either she's... <sighs> My biggest thing is, first of all, is, does she even exist? I mean, if she does, you know, like, how come I haven't seen, or she's taken the time? Because she knows I've taken the time to fly out here, drive out here, to find her. And yet, this is, this is where it's lead, led to. We know who the real person is. And I think you kind of know by now that the person in images is not the person you're talking to. So my wife runs a research department, Brienne, yeah. right? And so she was able to find the real person. So Drew's going to go through it with you right now. She's using this woman's images. Her name is Blanca Faith. Blanca Faith is from Texas. Uh, she has her own business. Literally just got married yesterday. Uh -huh. um, she has nothing to do. Wczoraj, laska wczoraj wyszła za mąż. Congratulations. This at all. Yesterday she got married. Wow. This is her, her Instagram page here. I couldn't see the face. Yeah. I couldn't see the face, yeah. Me too. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, that's a relief. That, I mean, <laughs> it's really for me that I know, like, Like this odd person who's been bugging me this morning while, you know, before flying out here is obviously not Vera. We were able to contact the real woman in these photos mm -hmm. um, and we thought it was good closure for you. Mm -hmm. We had many tricks up our sleeves to get Michael to come to terms and block this scammer. He didn't know the real woman in these images was waiting to speak to him through video chat. Mike was getting ready to come face to face with the person he thought he was in a relationship with for 10 years. Your name's not Vera, is it? <laughs> yeah, I'm Blanca. <laughs> oh, yes, Blanca, thank you so much. Anyway. First off, thank you for jumping on. We want to introduce you to Mike. So Mike has been in a 10 year relationship with somebody using your images under the name of Vera. Well, hello, um, Mike. Oh, fuck. I don't know if it's a good thing for Bianca. Blanki. Ten years? Yeah, ten years, yes. So, um, my... Dzień po swoim ślubie. Musisz się zajmować takim gównem. No, Blanka wydaje się bardzo miłą osobą. Mike had met a person through text message and they've stolen all your pictures and they were asking for money and they've been getting Mike, money from Mike for the last ten years. Yeah, I've had people fall for pictures and stuff but how were they so convincing to you, I guess, to make you believe that this was really who they were? Yeah, I guess with me working in things like, uh, places like education and a hospital, um, you develop like feelings that you want to help somebody. It's just the feeling I do. Czemu Amerykanie robią wszystko w samochodach? To jest takie valid question. Co drugi TikTok, którego widzę, jest nagrywany w samochodzie. Jakby jedzą w samochodach, dzwonią to się w samochodach. Every fucking thing. Developed that 
you know, a caring understanding. Wiem, wiem, znam odpowiedź, nie wolno chodzić piechotą, nie mają fair play, bo wiem, moje pytanie było retoryczne, ale dzięki, guys. Person is who I've always been, but unfortunately that uh, the tables turn now that I'm talking to you. I don't know how this works, but this like legit pisses me off. Like this person, Vera, should get her ass beat by me. Yeah, me. Jeżyczka pisze, nie no, całkiem normalny ziomek, wcale się nie martwię o bezpieczeństwo jego uczniów. E, czy to jest e, szulski type situation, jakby nauczyciel z Polski, tylko nauczyciel z Ameryki? That just had no no dignity at all. And trust me, you're gonna choose or he or whoever is gonna reap what they sow if you ask me. Oh, like she's a, so sweet. Completely different personality, right? Yes. From absolutely. this is like a super nice human being uh-huh. versus like the messages yeah. that you're getting from her is yeah. disgusting. Yeah, absolutely. It's like a total opposite. Sorry, your 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 images got used to uh, you know you know, confuse me through a mental, mental uh, state of mind that, uh, yeah, like... Um, I have a following on Facebook. I'm old school, so I'm definitely going to put her on blast. Yeah. I mean, unless it's going to ruin what y'all have going on. No, 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 no. no. Oh, she's got some following on Facebook, guys. Let's get Team Bianca on this. Let's get the... Let's get Team Bianca on Blanca this and let's get those profiles yeah. taken down. Yes. Blanca, okay. Blanca. Drew tried to. Oh, on też pomyliły imię. Oh fuck. Cracked me like seven times. He's hey. a blog guy. <laughs> we appreciate you again. Thank you for hopping on with us. This really helps um, not only bardzo. get the word out about your true profiles, but also to to help Mike come to terms with what he's got going on. So thanks again. Uh, we'll reach out to you, and we'll also try to figure out how to get these fake profiles taken down. Okay. And thanks for letting me, thanks for being patient while I butchered your name like yeah. 27 times. Y'all have a good one. All right, good luck. Thank yes, you. you. So what do you want to do? Just want to, I want, I, want, I want it done. I just want it done. And for me to start loving myself and... Do you really want that? Seriously? Yes. Okay. Czy nie dowiedzą w końcu o co z tym typem chodzi? Nie, widzę, że jest jeszcze 10 minut, więc być może się dowiemy o co z tym typem chodzi. Be here. We'll be here along the way, right? So, like... I think it would be great to talk to a counselor, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, we, so if you go and you find a counselor you like in Texas, mm-hmm. you let us know. I will pay for counseling for three months for you. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Is that fair? Yeah. yeah. I can reach out to our wellness in, in the hospital. Maybe I just need to throw away this number. You know, I mean, I had the number for so long, but people change phone numbers all the time. And I've already got a backup number. Yeah. Get rid of it. I if don't... you if you break your phone right now, I'll go buy you a new phone right now. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not kidding. Yeah, we'll go get you a new number right now. <laughs> Start fresh. It's been it's been a, 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 like I called her. She's been a cancer. Yeah, mm-hmm. a cancer. And I just like, you know, like I try to not put myself in situations like that. But yeah, like no, just. Do you use that phone for anything else? Other than just text and call now. But no, like I mean, other than her or no. As far as uh, because can I buy that phone from you for a thousand dollars? Yeah. Okay. What? I mean, everything is through Google, so okay. all the all my contacts and information will go through. Okay. I will transfer. give you a thousand dollars for that phone. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we will take the phone, the Telegram account. We will get the scammer to click the stuff, and I'm only buying it from you because I care about you, and I don't want you to talk to this what? person anymore. So, so you got to promise me you're going to cut things off. Yeah, I'm cutting things off. Okay. Absolutely. Hold up, seekers. Hold up, seekers. Before we took Mike back to the airport, we noticed he was deleting a bunch uh-huh. of things off no, of his phone. No, I We didn't find out until later. Uh-huh. Ugh. Absolutely. All right, Mike. Hey, Mike, yes. if you need right. anything, man, hit us up, bro. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes, absolutely. Hello, Bruce. My name's Brianne, and I'm calling on behalf of Mike. Mike had sent you thousands of dollars via PayPal, and he was involved in a romance scam. 
Michael's phone was littered with fabricated profiles of other women and various content that would likely lead to our video being removed from YouTube. Oh, oh, oh. So, first of all, I mean, we left off like two weeks ago, two-ish weeks ago. How have things been since we met and like revealed everything to you and, you know, gave you some advice? I have money. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sending anybody weird amounts of money or talking to, you know, people who are getting harassed or getting bugged at the time I'm supposed to be sleeping. Uh, I have you guys to thank for that. I mean, they yeah. like the lawyer keeps bugging me through email, but the Vera person hasn't bothered me at all. And she used to do that when I'd block her off telechat and just bug me all the way through emails and stuff. But uh, well, yeah. yeah bugging us. I, I'm glad you brought that up, Mike, because she's been bothering the crap out of me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I took over your phone for the last few weeks. And so, yes. yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I've been uh, adjusting to a new number and staying off uh, social media uh, as much as possible and just focusing on my kids, school and patients at the hospital and just just focus on me. Like you guys said, you need to focus on yourself, you know, self-worth, self-guidance, self-evaluation, you know, and just uh, getting um, adjusted in that new, new new state of mind. Realistically, my initial thought is like, okay, I'm going to have you keep talking to her or this person, him or whoever you're talking to, right? And, you know, let's try to figure out where this person is. We have this IP tracker that can track locations. But when I saw like the abusive messages that they were sending you, I like I couldn't do that. So I paid way too much for this phone, by the way. Uh -huh. I still have about half of it saved, you know. Good, yeah. good. Um, the other thing, like we went through your phone. Hey, it's I gave it up for a reason. Um, what you see is what you see. Nobody's perfect in this world. People make mistakes. People make I, you know, decisions that that to may not you you may think that may not have harm you but it can you know be harmful in someone else's eyes you know or offensive or whatever the case may be you know i'll be honest, i saw a lot of offensive stuff in here yeah you know? yeah and to be what honest like even stuff that? i was like pretty disappointed about like after talking to you what? and just being like totally candid right um nobody's perfect i'm not perfect you're not perfect yeah. she's not like but at yeah. the same time, Anne mm -hmm. uh, is perfect. She's as close <laughs> to perfect. Yeah. But in all seriousness, you know, like I was pretty disappointed with like the stuff was on here, dude. Like yeah. seriously. And like, I really think that, you know, getting counseling is, is the right move. How has that gone? Yeah. Um, I've reset both my hospital and the school and uh, they're, they're, uh, these things take time to like plan out and stuff like that. But, uh, um, especially like for free and stuff like that. Um, and uh, for for me, it's like, yeah, I've got, um, you know, a direction going to where, you know. I'm... Co tam było, że prowadzący poczuł się aż tak urażony? Myślicie, że po prostu prowad... Z tego co wiem, prowadzący jest bardzo antyporno generalnie, więc może po prostu chodzi o to, że, że, że miał porno na telefonie od jakiś fake kont. Ale, ale... Czy aż tak by się za to obraził? Taking a self analysis of myself, you know, and just and just starting there and just seeing. Is that Vosh type situation? Where that, where that projects to. I mean, we can help out with those mm -hmm. processing services, right? So if this stuff takes yeah. time, and you want to expedite things, like I offered it before, but I'll offer it again. Like all you have to do is find out who you want to meet with. Um, mm -hmm. We can take over from there and assist with the payments. And then as you get things facilitated through the hospital, you can always transition over if that's what you want. Yeah, because the hospital offers it to us as employees, you know, like for well-being, whether it's work related or personal related. It's just a matter of like going through the channels and finding out you know, like what you're going through and who to reference you to. I went through counseling. When co drugi odcinek to milkshake duck sytuacja. Bartek, czym jest milkshake duck sytuacja? Uh, please explain. When I was 10 years old and that was just family counseling. I did that for three or four years. You know, because of just... 
Oho, dobra, mamy link. Nie wiem, czy chcę wiedzieć, ale... Bartek. Myślałam, że mamy to za sobą. Mam nadzieję, że przemyślałeś swoje zachowanie. Ok. The whole internet loves milkshake duck. A lovely duck that drinks milkshakes. Five seconds later, we regret to inform you that the duck is <laughs> Ok, so there was a milkshake duck situation. <laughs> Już byłam gotowa myśleć, że zmyśliłeś w ogóle frazę milkshake duck tylko po to, żeby wysłać mi znów tego jebanego creepera. I guess the way I acted as a child, but I can't remember that. It's just, yeah. And like, me, it's like, this is someone who was just demanding that she's my wife and that she's like someone I should love and that why am I not taking care of her child and and all this and I sense it was more like you know just oh, I don't even know how to describe it the terminology for it um the uh to where there's someone that's just a control I guess a control thing to where she's just controlling like you need to be saying this you need to be saying this, this is what you need to be saying kind of control and I just felt like bottled up like it's been Fuck. 10 years of this Fuck. yeah by the way how do you mix up two years and 10 years well 10 cool. years I've had my walk swoją drogą e, Bartek chcesz pracujesz czy chcesz coś pograć potem you know my wife so my wife was yeah. alive she was she kept me in the straight and you know narrow path she didn't, she no, she didn't, I'm telling you what she didn't keep you in the straight narrow I saw yeah. the phone she didn't keep uh -huh. you straight She didn't. Yeah. You were here in the U.S. Wow. My language. Yeah. Okay. And then she was yeah. in the film. She didn't keep you mm -hmm. in the straight. Right. And uh, um, it's just like when she passed, it's like, like Vera, this person that she was called, was the only one that uh, that I was uh, coordinating with, communicating with. That's not know? true. I don't believe that. Like, like I'm I'm gonna call you out, right? I yeah. I. I want the best for you, and I think that if you lie to me, and I, uh -huh. if I lie to you, I'm not helping you out. Like I'm just right. being candid with you. And like one thing I will say, Mike, you lied to us a lot, like a lot throughout this. Like you, that's something when you go to counseling, you got to work on that. Seriously, yeah. because you don't mix up two years and ten years. If you ask me how old my son is, and if I tell you two years, and I'm like, oh shoot, I'm at ten years, you're gonna think I'm yeah. crazy. Mm -hmm. I think you're crazy for telling me you've been talking for two years and it's not the case. And I saw the other girls in the phone. Like she's not the only one. And there were other girls sending nude pictures. And like, I, I hope that you, that this is a relief for you. I hope that this right here has been like closure getting away from, because this is very toxic, right? Don't get caught up in this, Mike. This is, this is the wrong way. Right? Um, I think that's it. I'll, I'll be ja myślę, że podejrzane rzeczy w takim razie to były po prostu mnóstwo rozmów z fałszywymi kobietami, fejkowymi i, i nudesy. Mówię wam, ten gościu prowadzący jest bardzo cięty na porno. Ogółem. 
uh, what can be con transcribed and progressed through for me. Mike, um, I wish you the best. I, I truly wish you the best. Um, get some help and then keep us updated, okay? Like, we're here for you. We have your back. We're going to help you get those resources that you need. I appreciate it more than you know. Um, I know that's like, you know, I haven't been on the straight and narrow path with you guys, or I thought I've had, but in a sense, you guys may have not sensed that. And I guess that's something to me. Like, Wait, hold on, hold on. I gotta. I, I, I hate doing this, Mike. I hate doing this. You make me do this. You ruined this whole moment. Yeah. Um, czy jest tak po chrześcijańsku cięty na porno, czy tak na przemysł? Um, myślę, że ani jedno, ani drugie. Myślę, że jest tak po um, alfa grindce cięty na porno trochę, w sensie, że porno ryje ci mózg i potem się uzależniasz od razu i potem twoja własna żona cię nie kręci, więc ani na przemysł i to jak traktuje swoich pracowników, ani na grzech jakim to jest, a raczej na, na to co na taki bardziej self improvement type że, że ci źle robi porno you truly thought you were on the straight path with us. No, I have not been honest with you guys. Like, I feel like we're going to finish this call and mm -hmm. you're, we didn't help you out at all. I truly feel that way. That's I mean, true. I don't even have Telechat or whatever you call it um, on, on my new phone. I don't even have it. I don't even have WhatsApp. You got to prove me wrong. I don't want to hear from you, Mike, until you give me a call and you tell me you have counseling and that you're getting your, you're helping yourself out. You have the resources. I'm offering them up at this point, right? We've done everything. We've flown you, we've flown you from Texas to California. We've gotten our team involved. We investigated it. I bought a phone from you. You know, we're offering counseling resources, but in the end, I like you got to want to help yourself out. So prove me wrong. Give me a call Monday um, when if if you get counseling resources. If you don't get counseling resources, don't call me. All right, prove me wrong, Mike. Yes. All right. I wish you the best of luck. All Thank right. you so much. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. All right. Take care, guys. Yeah. Bye. Bye. One week later, we still haven't heard from Mike regarding his intention to pursue therapy, and we're awaiting an update from him. Thanks for watching. Remember, all of our. No cóż, nic się nie dowiedzieliśmy, jakby to it was messy as fuck. Muszę sprawdzić jedną rzecz.